you know, we had had problems with Mark even before he ever took the stage with us. And while we were doing Animal Eyes, I mean, as soon as he had joined the band, we were already sensing that there was a problem because of the fact that I think he was just overqualified, you know? Yeah. It's one of these people that, you know, they're, they're so good that it's, it's almost impossible for them to be in a situation where they're around people that are as good as them or that can stimulate them. So what, what it happens is that they, you know, they get a little arrogant, they get a little derogatory, you know, and which was, which was what was happening, you know? There was yeah. one incident that happened while we were doing Animal Eyes. Uh, Gene offered, offered Mark a chance to play bass on Exciter. That's what it was. And, you know, because just to make him feel good and because uh, he was fast enough to do the part, okay? Um, and he was doing it, and I was sitting next to him in the control room, and Gene was right next to me, and he played like a passing note going into a verse coming out of a chorus, and then he stopped the tape, you know, to take a rest, and I said, you know, that there was a note in there that sounded wrong, and, he, and you know, he started, he got really, like, defensive and arrogant right away, and I said, look, I understand, you know, I, I play guitar, I understand music, I said, the note itself may be the correct note that fits, you know, passing through the chord, I said, but to my ear, it sounds like a mistake. People may think it's a mistake. And, and quote, unquote, he goes, how the fuck would you know? You're playing a drum. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Okay? And this is after being in the band for like three weeks, you know? Yeah. And Gene, like, almost fell out of his chair, and he tried to be uh, real nice and, you know, diplomatic about it. I walked out of the room because I was going to kill Mark, and I don't want to touch him. Uh, and I went in the other room, and then... Gene came in like two seconds later with his mouth and his eyes like bulging out of his head. We couldn't believe it, you know, but it was kind of like building up for a while. So we pulled him into the room, me, Gene and Paul, and we let him have it. And he changed after that. <laughs> <laughs>